Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Combat Ready HQ and finally welcome back to the home workouts. Today is going to be slightly different to previous one. We used to do a lot of sort of home circuits to get you fit. Today we've got a lot more equipment finally, so we're going to do a strength session. But there's so many exercises going to, um, and workouts that are going to come. We've got home workouts with no equipment, we've got kettlebells, resistant bands, steps, we've got squat and bench rack, we've got loads of stuff now to bring you the best workouts, even sort of plate carriers. So keep an eye out for all of these. Make sure you subscribe and like to the channel because it really helps. But it's also turn notifications bell on so you can get notified when a new workout is released. So we're gonna get into it today. It's gonna be sort of a full body strength session but mainly concentrating on legs. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing is working on the back squat, okay, the barbell back squat. So you can either do this at home if you've got the equipment, we can go and do this in the gym. Remember, when doing the back squat, okay, you can either do the low or high position. I prefer the high position. You could do the low position if you're going a lot heavier. Remember to keep your feet flat on the floor, around shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Right, you can go ask the grass and your knees can go over your toes. Keep your core engaged, take a deep breath in. Right, on the way down and then come back up deep breath out and then repeat the process deep breath in go down come up breathe out okay remember to breathe in between each rep keep that core engaged okay go to either thighs parallel or just below hold and then come back up So in between each set, I'm having around two to three minutes break. I'm working for eight to 10 reps. I've hit 10 reps each time so far. So I want a good rest. So around two to three minutes, let my body recover so I can go just as hard on the next set. This is brilliant. The back squat is a great exercise for anyone looking to join the military. Gets you used to carrying load on your back, but it's a great lower body strength builder. The quads, hammies, glutes, but it's also gonna help your core and posterior chain as well. So barbell back squat if you can, get it added into your routine for sure.
Done. Squats are done. One thing I can't stand is not putting the plates back. Make sure always put the plates back after your session. For sure. No matter what gym you're in, keep it nice and tidy. Either for the next person or for yourself. So I know you've seen I haven't got collars. You most probably noticed to go on here. I do have some coming. They have been ordered. I've got some nice orange mirror fit ones. They're gonna look tasty. They're gonna look really nice. Um, but yeah, haven't been delivered yet. As you can see, we're going for a black and orange theme. So always put your collars on. I just haven't got them yet. Next exercise, we're gonna go for the goblet squat. Okay, that's with a nice kettlebell. We're gonna start first set on eight kilos. I'm already warm from the back squat, but I like to, on a second sort of exercise, just do another warm up set on that exercise. But my legs and my back are nice and warm. My heart rate is raised, blood is pumping around my body which is what we want. Uh, goblet squat with eight kilos and then I'm gonna move up to the 16 kilo one. I've got six, eight and 16. Um, and then obviously we're gonna to add to that as time goes on. So goblet squat, once again, core engaged. Okay, hips back, sort of sit down, keep the kettlebell nice and close to your chest. The further away you keep it away from your body, the more strain you're gonna put on your back. So keep it nice and close to your chest and the same with the breathing, big deep breath in. Down, lower, up, exhale, inhale, down, hold, up, exhale, inhale, and repeat. Uh, we're gonna go for 12 to 15 reps of the goblet squat, okay? Once again, feet around shoulder width apart. Always take care when lifting up a kettlebell. done. Remember strength training is so important when it comes to the military. Used to be, like I've said so many times and a lot of other coaches are saying now, used to be a lot of running, run, 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 run with a few circuits or tap, tap, tap. Strength training is getting incorporated everywhere throughout the army now, phase one, phase two and in phase three regimental life. So important to much, one, make you a much stronger tactical athlete going to make you a better soldier and it's also going to help prevent injury. So make sure you're incorporating some sort of strength training, whether that's body weight, kettlebells, dumbbells, barbells or a mixture. Add it into your routine. Now we're going to up it to 16 kilos. Oh. 
good to be praying and breaking you again. Love it. Back into public squats, the last set of this exercise. Next exercise, then we're going to move on to press ups. Like I said, it's a full body session, and I like to incorporate a lot of body weight exercises, a bit of calisthenics. I think, especially if you join the army, you should definitely be able to do the basics. A good number of press ups and a good number of pull ups uh, and dips. That's a great exercise, it's just to test your strength uh, and you know, just improve your capability of being a soldier for sure. Minimal rest of the press up. Quick rest for the third final set. Breath. Oh, I'm going to go back into the to always keep your core engaged on this. People forget to do that and their hips sit down. You don't want this. It's flat body. There we go. Three sets of press-ups. So, final exercise is then we're going to do a superset. We're going to get the slam ball. What are you going to do? Ball over each shoulder. Okay, 10 times, followed by some jump squats. Watch your head height around here and wherever you are. Right, just pick the ball up. Throw it over your shoulder, turn around, pick it up. 10 of them total, followed by jump squats, short rest, and repeat three times. So we're gonna get into that now. I've got a few, four kilo slam ball in a minute, I'm looking to get heavier, but yeah, just whatever you can get a hand on that's suitable for you. Back straight, bend at the knees when you pick it up as well. Hopefully, you can to get heavier. Six. into it.
Stretch off, recover, eat, water, fluids, replen the body, recover. Recovery is just as important as it is the training. your breath back. I'm loving a nice bath for the minute, it's helping me with recovery. I'm making sure I'm eating loads. Um, my go-to supplements at the minute, creatine and multivitamins for sure, from Combat Fuel. Uh, code is in the description, uh, and I normally have some sort of whey protein as well. As always, comment below what you want to see next, what your thoughts are on the video, you know, how could I improve it, what would you like to see, what workouts, anything you're struggling with, send me an email or a message on Instagram. Links, emails, always in the video description. Check out our website as well. Loads of things always being updated in there. New merch, new t-shirts, Tactical, War Tactical Warrior. We've got a new coffee. That's it for today then, hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.